And welcome back, everybody. Car owners around the U.S. are facing insurance hikes after their manufacturers shared their driving data without their knowledge. Oh, boy. Our buddy, local tech expert Dave Hatter, here on Zoom with us this morning to talk about it. Dave, I got this feeling, having not discussed this with you, that, that this is probably less than thrilling a concept, but not one we should be surprised about. Uh, sadly, Bob, I think your assessment is spot on. You know I'm not a big fan of the so-called Internet of Things or smart devices. And right. This is just another example. So, And I think it just points out, you know, my tinfoil hat seems less conspiracy-oriented <laughs> every day when you see these kind of stories, you yeah. know? Well, um, so Mozilla, the people that make the Firefox browser, put out a very in-depth report last year. I encourage all your viewers, you, your viewers sorry, to go check it out. Uh, it's called Privacy Not Included, and they looked at uh, the top 20 car manufacturers. And I think most people will be absolutely shocked when they see the kind of information your average new car collects because it's really just a rolling computer. And it doesn't have to be some sort of fancy EV Tesla type of thing. Almost all modern cars are collecting an enormous amount of information. The more disturbing part and the part that I find offensive about all this, Bob, it's not so much that this capability exists. It's that people don't have informed consent about how they're using this. So you buy a new car, you sign all kinds of paperwork, very deep in the terms of service is, I'm sure, in 80 pages in and some legalese that sure. your data is going to be sent back to the manufacturer. And now we find out the manufacturers are doing all kinds of things with that data, including selling it to insurance companies who then can turn around and potentially raise your premiums or cancel you based on the information they're collecting. You know, it's one thing, Bob, if you go sign up for, let's say, a program where you plug a device into your car and you knowingly give that information to the insurance company because you want to potentially improve your rates. In my opinion, it's another thing entirely when behind the scenes and without informed consent, your data is being sent to insurance companies that could potentially cancel you or certainly raise your rates. And this has been pretty widely reported on. Even Car and Driver recently reported on this. So. It's a real thing, unfortunately. Well, and so a lot of cars have had, I guess, the car version of a black box that we think about with, with airplanes yes. for, for a much longer time than they've been able to hook up to Wi-Fi. Is that sort of the dividing line? Is the ability for that information to be uploaded? Because I, you know, I, I drive a pretty old car. You know, it looks like it's got a radio ripped out of about a 94 Saturn. They're not getting anything out of my car. Um, <laughs> but if you if, if, if it is if it is Wi-Fi, is that sort of the key? Well, yeah, that's I mean, you know, now keep in mind, companies like TM have had OnStar and the capability to connect and do like over the air software updates to the software in your car for some time. But as Wi-Fi and in particular things like, you know, high speed connectivity through the cellular network have become ubiquitous. You know, it in the past, it might have been difficult and expensive to do this. Now it's I mean, think about it. Where do you go nowadays? where you can't get connected to Wi-Fi or cellular, sure. almost nowhere. Yeah. So it's it's become much easier for these companies to implement this kind of technology. And while there is some significant upsides, including, again, over-the-air software updates that fix problems in the cars, it also gives them the capability to perform an enormous amount of data collection, whether it's you plug your phone into the infotainment center and it collects all the information out of your phone, or the sensors in the car, your driving habits, et cetera. Again, if people go look at that Mozilla report, privacy not included, came out late last year, I think most folks will be extremely surprised, if not shocked, at the amount of extremely detailed information many of these cars collect, things that make no sense for the performance and the usability of the car. You know, it's clearly they want your data because they want to market to you and sell it to other companies. I miss the days when to fix a car, you needed a wrench instead of a USB cord. Dave, as always, we appreciate your time, buddy. Thank you. My pleasure, Bob. Have a great day. It is. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe, and then you can get all the notifications.